because of the economy, we're facing unique pressures. And the rules of the game have vastly changed. Going into debt to get a college degree has not always been the case. In her book, Strapped, Tamara Drott wrote that in 1977, students spent $6 billion to get a college education compared to the $28 billion that students spent in 1993. By 2003, the amount of borrowing had doubled to $56 billion. And the increase cannot be explained away by higher student enrollment, though the number of students enrolled in college did grow by 44% between 1977 and 2003. The student loan volume rose by 833%. Today, students borrow more than $100 billion in federal education loans and $10 billion in private student loans each year for a total of $110 billion. Compared to 1977, the student loan volume has now increased over 1,700%. The increases can be explained by the rising cost of a college education and worse student aid packages. College education has been called a luxury price necessity. It is the fastest rising consumer good and has nearly doubled in price in the last decade. To make matters worse, student aid packages have seen a decline in government-backed grants and subsidized loans. This means that more students have to take out more expensive loans from private lenders. Society has seen a debt explosion as well. At least two things happened to contribute to the debt explosion. First, the lending industry was deregulated. In a nutshell, some of the regulations were taken away from lenders, which unleashed more loans from larger banks with higher interest rates and fees, and eventually 5.1 billion credit card solicitations. These changes gave unprecedented profits to lenders, including the monthly profit of $2.5 billion that the credit card industry sees. The cost of basic expenses, housing, healthcare, education, transportation, have increased. And since the 1970s, incomes have decreased or stayed the same. During the 1950s to the 1970s, people made more in relation to the cost of basic expenses. These rising costs make it easier for us to run out of money while we're in college and also harder to pay off debt after graduation. Yeah, I did my undergrad at Stanford and um, you know, I was really inundated with a lot of materials that came a lot through the mail. Um, and you know, I was kind of naive about it at the time, so I ended up signing up with one of the first credit card offers that I got. Um, you know, which was kind of branded with the name of the Alumni Association, so it's kind of like, you must, it must be good, right? You know, uh, I didn't have too many problems until later. It was really later that ended up happening. <laughs>